let's say you're installing a sub panel, something like this one, and you wanted to put it kind of high so that your kids couldn't open it up and play with the breakers and so forth. But you're installing it and your friend comes along and says, man, you put that too high. You're gonna get flunked when you get inspected. So this is a Homeline MLO plug-on neutral panel. And you see, these are the MLO means main lug only. Those are the main lugs right there. What's important about that is there's no main breaker. See, this is your top, topmost breaker right here. That's gonna be important. Uh, okay, so we got four foot eleven for the bottom. Uh, this this top breaker right here is six foot six inches from off the ground, which is 1.98 meters. Remember that 1.98 meters. And the top of the panel is at seven foot eight inches. So what do you think? Do you think this is installed too high? Well, the answers are to be found in the 2023 NEC code. And uh, something else uh, I'd like to go over. My panel door opens this way. And what if, what if there's a wall right here? And this door can only open for 90 degrees. Would that be okay by code? And how much workspace do you need around this panel? Uh, this way and out this way. So let's go to the 2023 NEC code book and handbook for answers. This is article 404.8 of the 2023 NEC code, accessibility and grouping. And this delta symbol right here means that there have been changes for 2023. And this shaded area is where the changes are. A, location. All switches and circuit breakers used as switches shall be located that they can be operated from a readily accessible place. They shall be installed such that the center of the grip of the operating handle of the switch or circuit breaker when in its highest position is not more than 2.0 meters, that's six foot seven inches above the floor or working platform except as follows. And remember, our topmost circuit breaker was at 1.98 meters, uh, six feet, six inches above the floor. So the center of the grip of the operating handle of the switch or circuit breaker, when in highest position, is not more than two meters, six foot seven inches above the floor or working platform. Except as follows, you do have exceptions. One, on busway installations, fused switches and circuit breakers shall be permitted to be located at the same level as the busway. Suitable means shall be provided to operate the handle of the device from the floor. Two, switches and circuit breakers installed adjacent to motors, appliances, or other equipment that they supply shall be permitted to be located higher than two meters, that's six foot seven inches, and to be accessible by portable means. That would be like a ladder. Number three, hook stick operable isolating switches shall be permitted at greater heights. 110.26A2, width of working space. The width of the working space in front of the electrical equipment shall be the width of the equipment or 762 millimeters, that's 30 inches, whichever is greater. In all cases, the workspace shall permit at least a 90 degree opening of equipment doors or hinged panels. This is from the 2023 NEC handbook. Regardless of the width of the electrical equipment, the working space cannot be less than 30 inches wide. This space allows an individual to have at least shoulder width space in front of the equipment. The 30 inch measurement can be made from either the left or the right edge of the equipment and can overlap other electrical equipment provided the equipment does not extend into the working space of the other equipment. If the equipment is wider than 30 inches, the space must be equal to the width of the equipment. The following exhibit illustrates the 30 inch width requirement. So here you have a panel board and it has to have 30 inches. 
the door must be able to open 90 degrees. Now this could overlap onto this panel board and this could be 30 inches and then this needs to be 30 inches and then minimum headroom of six and a half feet. Continuing in the 2023 NEC handbook, it says sufficient depth in the working space is also required to allow a panel or a door to open at least 90 degrees. If doors or hinged panels are wider than three feet, more than a three feet deep working space must be provided to allow a full 90 degree opening as shown below. Doors are often part of bolted equipment covers. The 90 degree requirement applies only to the hinged door. It does not require to the bolted cover to be capable of swinging 90 degrees. Notice that in this case, the bolted equipment cover goes all the way to the floor. There is no prohibition against this. Now for the topic of leaving workspace in front of your electrical panels. This is article 110.26, spaces about electrical equipment. Working space and access to and egress from working space shall be provided and maintained about all electrical equipment to permit ready and safe operation and maintenance of such equipment. Open equipment doors shall not impede access to and egress from the working space. Access or egress is impeded if one or more simultaneously opened equipment doors restrict working space access to be less than 610 millimeters, that's 24 inches wide, and two meters, that's six and a half feet high. So the photograph on the left clearly shows that the path to the panel is blocked. And on the example on the right, there's not enough headroom. You need six and a half feet of headroom to get to the panel. And the fake Christmas tree should not be stored there. As for my example, since the highest circuit breaker is six foot six inches off the floor and there is no main breaker, then it would pass as far as height was concerned. However, if it was two inches higher, it wouldn't. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.